Hi, Kane. How you doing? Yeah, you're you're right on target here. Um, and thank you. Yes, it is. It's it's really daunting to do this for the first time, especially since we're designers and not attorneys. So it, it takes a minute to wrap your head around the, the language and, and such. But once you, you get this down a couple of times, it's it, it's like it's second nature. It really is. I mean that. So it it really gets easy. And I've got mine down um, really. <sighs> I have it dialed in pretty good, and I'm going to show you in the in your post. I'll give you the exact um, you know these specs that I really really concentrate on. Um, I think you're off to a, a really good start. Um, my first comment would be the uh, this page right here um, proposal. Typically, a pro proposal is written out um, verbally instead of this kind of list because you just can't. It, it's just going to be really super impossible to try to. To, to really qualify and quantify the job in a list. You know, it's like quantity of pieces. I mean, typically you're not, you know, I mean, that'll come out in the contract um, as a printing cost, but it, as a proposal, it would be, it would be more of a, like a couple of paragraphs. And then you would get into specifics, really get into specifics in, in, um, um, some of the, the basic terms and conditions of, of the contract right here. Um, so this, I guess what I'm saying in a nutshell is this page really is not necessary um, as long as you're covered over here. Um, you have a couple of things here, like you're mentioning delays. In design, Kane, there's no such thing as a delay. Um, there's no such thing as an act of God. There's no such thing as of anything other than meeting or exceeding your deadline. Um, missing deadlines in design is you're done. You're done as a designer. Um, so, so not only if you work in a studio and you miss a, del um, a uh, deadline, but even if you work, um, you know, if you're working freelance and you're late on a delivery for it's, it's really, really, really a serious problem for a designer. So let's forget that, uh, payment, yes, fees, cancellation. That's, yeah, and, and some of these, I think, are just caught up in, in different terminologies. Um, I'm wondering if you used, which one of these you used. This is a really good one. Uh, this one right here from AIGA. Um, this is that client contract template, and this is a really, this is a really great one. And actually, that ca um, contract right there, I, I actually have a couple of things in there that I think should be mentioned. Um, kill fee, know what that is. Arbitration, at what point will you arbitrate to... to um, for a money discrepancy, uh, what typically expressed in dollar amount. Ownership and return of work. Um, this is really, really super important. Who owns the work? Um, so the, almost as important as the reproduction of work, which is the reproduction of work, the, the um, assignment of rights is going to be the most important part of any contract, bar none. So. My suggestion is this. I don't give full reproduction rights. I always try to get one-time reproduction rights. That means that if I do a job for a client, uh, they, okay, let's say I do a, a, a real quick job for a client, a logo and a sta uh, stationary system, a basic identity. So once that's delivered, um, that's it, okay? That's yours, but your, it's your logo but not to do with what you want. So in other words, if you need to have that logo repurposed for the side of the building, you have to call me to do it. It's like, just because I designed your logo doesn't mean you can do anything you want with it, okay? The client is gonna want full reproduction rights, meaning the client's gonna wanna say, hey, I paid for it, I should be able to do whatever I want with it. Anything in between falls in, in your negotiation, okay? Um, this is a really, really important consideration for your work. Let's just think about that. Other than that, I think you're doing great. You're spot on, man. Um, any any questions or comments, just get with me, and I'll, I'll be glad to explain. Okay, thanks.